In some states in America, and other countries with legal capital punishment, there exists an interesting custom for criminals on death row. The infamous last meal. Convicted felons get the opportunity to select any food and drink of their choice, within certain regulations on the eve of their execution. Here are some of the strangest meals ever recorded. Number 10. Lawrence Russell Brewer. While some have a clear idea of the last thing they'll ever eat, others are totally spoiled for choice. Taking full advantage of this unusual opportunity, a convicted killer and white supremacist, Lawrence Russell Brewer, decided to indulge in an enormous feast in 2011. He requested two fried chicken steaks with gravy and onions, a triple bacon cheeseburger, a cheese omelet with ground beef, tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, jalapenos, three fajitas, and a meat fest pizza, a bowl of fried okra, a pound of barbecued meat with half a loaf of white bread, peanut butter fudge with crushed peanuts, and a pint of bluebell ice cream, all washed down with three root beers. In a final screw you to the justice system though, Brewer refused to eat a morsel when the order arrived, claiming that he wasn't hungry. Texas Senator John Whitmire was so furious that he decided to ban the last meal requests in the state. So future death row prisoners have Lawrence Russell Brewer to blame for the regular prison slop. Number 9. Victor Harry Fueger. In 1963, 28-year-old Victor Harry Fueger received a death sentence by hanging for kidnap murder. Fueger and his attorneys requested clemency from President John F. Kennedy, who had the power to moderate the sentencing, but he denied the appeal. For his final meal, the young man had only one request. A single olive, with a pit left in. After his execution, the olive pit was found inside Fueger's suit pocket, contributing to the popular belief that he intended to be buried alongside it so that the olive tree symbolized peace would sprout from his grave. For a dangerous criminal, it's almost a touching sentiment. Number 8. John Spankelink. For some, food isn't the priority at all when it comes down to making the last order. John Spankelink was convicted of one of the high count murder and armed robbery and put to death in Florida State Prison. Florida in 1979, but not after one final celebration. Spankelink was a heavy drinker, so he denied any special food but asked for a single flask of Jack Daniels instead, which he shared with the prisoner's superintendent. After his death, the state of Florida's last meal provisions was revised to exclude alcohol altogether. But to be honest, going out while drunk doesn't seem like such a bad idea. Number 7. Aileen Warnaus. Known as America's first female serial killer, Aileen Warnaus also requested a beverage before taking her last breath in 2002, but of a different kind. A single cup of black coffee was all she wanted. It may seem like this request was her way of saying, don't even think about killing me before I've had my morning coffee. But Wernos had far crazier motivations. She didn't believe she was going anywhere for long, as her notorious last words were, I'd like to say, I am sailing with the rock, and I'll be back Independence Day with Jesus, June 6th. It's safe to say she still hasn't turned up yet. Number 6. Ricky Ray Rector. Ricky Ray Rector seemed to have similar motivations when it came to his last meal before he was executed in Arkansas in 1992 for murder of a police officer in 1981. Rector had ordered a tasty sounding meal consisting of steak, fried chicken, and cherry Kool-Aid followed by a slice of pecan pie. But he left his dessert untouched. When a guard asked him about the sweet treat, Rector simply said he was saving it for later. Whether this was an ironic joke or a sinister hint that his return in the afterlife was imminent is entirely up to you. Number 5. Timothy McVeigh. Timothy McVeigh is the man responsible for the Oklahoma City bombing of 1995, which was the biggest U.S. terrorist attack before the events of 9-11. But what this senseless killer ordered as his last hurrah might surprise you, given the seriousness of his crimes. All McVeigh wanted to eat before his execution in 2001 was two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Although no one knows whether one remained chilled as he guzzled down the first, or simply melted into a puddle beside him, 
To be honest, for a man responsible for 168 innocent deaths, even melted ice cream seems far too generous. Number 4. Robert Alton Harris When you're ordering your final meal on death row, it's important to cover all the bases. And why agonize over which takeaway to get when you can combine the lot? This is exactly what murderer Robert Alton Harris did in 1992 when he requested a 21-piece bucket of KFC, two large Domino's pizzas along with a six-pack of Pepsi with ice cream, a bag of jelly beans for dessert, and a packet of Camel cigarettes for good measure. His final words are what people remember him for. He said, you can be a king or a street sweeper, but everyone dances with the Green Reaper. Kind of prophetic for a seasoned criminal, don't you think? Number three, Thomas J. Grasso. Thomas J. Grasso was not the brightest of the bunch. And when Judgment Day came in 1995 for his two separate murders of elderly people in different states, his final meal request reflected his questionability of life choices. He ordered a plethora of extravagant foods like two dozen steamed clams, half a dozen barbecued ribs, a Burger King double cheeseburger, and two strawberry milkshakes along with a can of SpaghettiOs to be served at room temperature. When Grasso's meal arrived, he got spaghetti and meatballs instead, a mistake he'd never forgive. As his final words were, I did not get my SpaghettiOs. I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. Number two, James Edward Smith. This convicted felon had one of the most bizarre last meal requests ever recorded. James Edward Smith was handed the death sentence for fatally shooting a man during an armed robbery in Texas in 1983. And when it came down to his final meal request in 1990, all he wanted was a lump of soil. Some people speculated that he wanted to chow down in the dirt, but others were skeptical. They thought he planned to perform a voodoo ritual as the soil was the Rakonda type associated with witchcraft. As dirt was not on the list of foods permitted by prison regulations, the authority denied his request and served him a cup of yogurt instead, which of course is the only reasonable alternative. Number one, Peter J. Minio. Convicted killer Peter J. Minio could give Lawrence Russell Brewer a run for his money for one of the biggest orders ever on death row since 2004. Miniel confessed to his crimes of murder and robbery and was ready to pay the price, but not before he gorged himself on the swapping order. He requested 20 beef tacos, 20 beef enchiladas, two double cheeseburgers, a pizza with jalapenos, fried chicken, spaghetti with salt, and a modest dessert of half a chocolate cake, half a vanilla cake, cookies and cream ice cream, caramel pecan fudge ice cream, and a small fruit cake. To wash it all down, he also had two lots of Coke, Pepsi, root beer, and orange juice. Maybe he intended to explode Henry VIII style before facing the music. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos.